Try to be sensitive to your breath. Notice when it's coming in, when it's going out. And be sensitive to your mind. What's coming in, going out of your mind right now? You want to have one thing filling it, which is the intention to stay with the breath. And then your sensitivity to the breath. Anything else that comes in right now, you can either just let pass through, or you can turn it away at the door. The Buddha compares mindfulness to a gatekeeper. The gatekeeper is at a fortress. It's at the edge of the, the country. There could be enemies coming in. So the gatekeeper has to be very watchful to notice who's coming in. Are these people you know, people you don't know. And if you know them, are they reliable or are they not? Let in only the people you know who are reliable. Everybody else you've got to keep out. Which means that your gatekeeper has to have a very strong sense of what's skillful and what's not skillful. What thoughts, when you allow them into the mind, will be helpful to the breath, helpful to staying with the breath? Which thoughts will get in the way? And you have to be very careful not to let any outside thoughts in. Remember the Buddha says, putting aside greed and distress with reference to the world. All things having to do with the world right now you've got to put aside. Just focus on what you know right here, right now, in the body. Even the sounds going through, let them go through. Don't hang on to them. And John Cha has a nice statement. He says, not that the sounds are bothering us, we're bothering the sounds. In other words, we're making comments on them, saying this shouldn't be that way, that shouldn't be this way. Why are they flying so low? It goes on and on and on. But it's just the nature of sound. It's there, and then it's going to end. And it doesn't destroy your breath. It doesn't destroy your attention. It doesn't have to destroy your attention. You can keep your attention with the breath. Everything else can go right through. After all, think of all the other things that are going through right now. All the radio waves, all the cosmic ra radiation. Lots of things are going through your body right now. Lots of things are going through your space. But you don't get upset by them. You don't get entangled with them. In the same way, when something unskillful comes in the mind, you don't have to get entangled with it. If it can go through, let it go through. If you have to stand at the gate and say, nope, you can't come in, okay, whatever is needed, to make sure that your mind is fully inhabited with your intention to stay with the breath. This is something you've got to protect. Just as the fortress protects the nation, and the gatekeeper protects the fortress, okay, mindfulness protects your mind, and then your mind protects your whole life. So be very careful right here, right now, who you allow in. This applies not only when you're sitting here with your eyes closed, but as you go through the day. That's when it turns into restraint of the senses. And again, mindfulness has to keep watch. If you notice that greed is going out, you've got to hold it in. If you notice that things outside are coming in and trampling over your mind, you've got to keep them out. That's for things you can just let go through, go through, allow them to go through. Make sure, though, that you hang on to the things that are good. Remember the Buddha's image of a raft going across the river. You let go of the raft when you get to the other side, but don't let go of it in the meantime. Hold on tight. Make sure that the raft is well put together, and you hold on tight as you swim across. That way you don't get swept away. <laughs>